This is the B side, B side, B side. The marriage. This is the B side, B side, B side. The marriage. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the B Side of Marriage podcast. My name is Rashonda, and this is my husband, Jason. And as you can hear, I've lost my voice. But we wanted to make sure that we're consistent and um, that we record an episode this week. So we're going to push through it. I won't be doing a lot of the talking. <laughs> um, Jay's going to really carry the episode, but welcome, here we are. Welcome, and welcome for another week. Yeah. Uh, so as always, we um, start our podcast with an A or B side moment. And this yeah. moment is just something that during the week that we consider A or B side moment. Yeah. And so uh, I'm going to start off with the B side. <laughs> um, this past well, almost a week and a half now, mm-hmm. we've been dealing with a lot of sickness in our family, meaning like the kids have had colds. Um, because, you know, COVID is still a thing. So trying to get them tested, um, we had an exposure, um, to one of the kids in their class. So, um, so it's like every time you get a cough or whatever, you're like, oh no, I got COVID. Um, so we've all been tested several times, um, (laughs) because that's what I said, this whole thing, like just how everything is being handled now is just ridiculous and then there's still the flu that you could get as well so anyways (laughs) so we've just been dealing with that um and because of i'm actually on the recovery side of it like i'm on the upside but my voice was like nah i'm i i need to rest (laughs) so yeah so i've lost my voice but it sounds worse than it really is yeah. So anyway, so that's my view side. Oh, and then also too, um, we've been, you know, dealing like taking care of the kids and then trying to take care of yourself is is hard. And then Jay's been at work and so he's like, I wish I could have stayed and I'm like, Yeah, I wish you could have too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it was just like And that's dealing with all of it. As she says that, let me go into my B side. <laughs> my B side is that yes. Everybody in the house was sick. We had to do all these tests, but at the same time, I had to go to work. So I, yeah. I pretty much had to leave my wife home with the kids. Her not feeling good. Kids not feeling good. So yeah, it was, it's, you know, and I was working late hours. So it wasn't like yeah. I was working normal nine to five. I was working <laughs> the late shift, meaning I'm getting home at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so. it's like as soon as we got those negative tests, I was like, yeah. okay, come on in. I was like, I gotta go to work. See you later. I'm out. So yeah, I didn't. I honestly didn't like that. So, uh, but yeah, so um, we're gonna let's get into what we're gonna talk let's about. Let's get today. into it. So um, I'll say this: we, you know, we've been in marriage ministry for pretty much most of our marriage. So one of the topics that they talked about was like the five levels of communication. Now this this I guess not so much study, but what they talked about in the five levels levels of communication, this this has this goes with you know single people as well as married folks. So it's just how you communicate in general. In, in general. Yeah. Um, so you know we're gonna kind of go through these different the different levels, and we're gonna start from the top and go down to the bottom, so you guys can actually get an idea of what we're talking about. So, um, but yeah, like I said, when we learned this, it was kind of, it was very eye-opening for me. Um, I don't know if my wife remembers us, remember when we, I don't know if we was at a retreat or if it was one of our sessions that we went, our monthly sessions that we went to. Um, but, you know, they, like I said, we, they talked about the levels and we go like, we said, like I said, we can go from five to one. And, you know, one being the most, most important where we all want to try to achieve. Um, but I'll say this. We're ne- we're not always going to be in in the lowest one all right. the time. Right. You may be bouncing in between them, but you know the point is that we're working towards getting to number one in our communication. Right, and I think also too it has to deal with 
every interaction doesn't require you to be at a level one. Correct. So it's, yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So, we so gotta, yeah, let's jump in. <laughs> we're going to jump into it. So level five. Um, uh, and again, if you look this up, some people say this is level one. Some people say level five. So I'll, I'll put that out first. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to start level five and it's considered common com- conversations. So when I say common, it's just like, and I may, it may sound weird, but it's shallow conversations. It's really where, not meaning that it means anything, but it's like start a conversation. So it's like, hey, how are you? Like small talk. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. How are you? How are you doing today? Yeah. You know, it's really nothing. What is it? It's basically like conversation you have with everybody. So you can have people at work, how's the weather? Or even, you know, if you're talking to somebody on the phone from a different area, um, different part of the country, it's just common conversations. Um, and this type of conversation is, is that there's really no depth in this type of conversation. It's just trying to get the small talk out the way, yeah. not really saying anything behind it. Um, so being that it's not really, uh, it's, it's not really a, a, a thing where we get real too deep. This is the type of conversation in your marriage where, you know, this is kind of the, I don't say the passing by conversation that you may have. They're just saying like, Oh, you're right today. How are you feeling today? Now, it's not really where we're trying to get into anything. Mm-hmm. It's just to start the conversation, see where that person, where your spouse is at, at that moment. Um, you know, Agreed. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. So level four is, and I'm gonna call it straight facts. Um, so this is, you, you know, it's a little, little more deeper, but still not really deep. Um, and where it's where you just sharing part of your day. You know, something, you know, maybe just, I, you know, I had, a, I had a long day at work, you know, uh, we went into extra innings, you know, it's facts about my day, but it's really not, I'm really not getting to anything, you know, under the subconscious, lower, you know, it's just really, hey, yeah. you know, my facts about my day. Um, and I, I think we can tend to stay at that level four. Mm-hmm because of the schedules yes um and so you call it straight facts i call it like logistical (laughs) like we're just having logistics conversations hey you know this kid needs to be dropped off at this you know has this thing going on Mm -hmm. you need to sign this paper we got to work on this project or yeah it's like oh we have this appointment so it's kind of like yeah it's just like so trading yeah in other data (laughs) in other terms just like i would say it's like the news reporting yeah, I, I don't really say the news because it's really not fact, but just how reporters are supposed to report the facts. Yeah, you know they give you, you know, just they break it down. So that's the type of conversation that it is. Yep. Um, and as my wife said, this is the level most couples are in their level. Oh, really? Here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Well, I was like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Most couples spend most of their time here. Um, in this level, which was kind of funny that you said I that because you didn't even read this. Yeah. So, um, and then another point, another important thing about this level is that you're really not exposing anything. Like I said, anything about yourself. Yeah. Um, it's it's, it's pretty it's cut and dry. You know, not really else about that. Um, so and then th- then when we go down to level three, level three is disclosed with caution. So. I call it this, this, you're disclosing information, but with caution. Uh, so you make, you make it a face yeah, like, like so, so basically it's like you're, you're, you're cautiously sharing your opinions, ideas, and judgment. You reveal some, but not all. So like, for instance, you're in this level where you're going to share something with your spouse, but you kind of hold off a little bit because you're afraid of either rejection or, you know, you, you think she's going to object to something you say. Be, and then if she, if they do, then you, you bail the conversation and then you kind of put up that wall and close everything off. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I could easily see myself in that one. <laughs> So, yeah, it's basically so you're guarding yourself with your spouse because you think either they're going to react a certain way 
without even allowing giving them the chance to react if they go if they're going to react to it. Yep. So you have an example? Oh, I have plenty. I have a lot of different <laughs> examples. Okay. I have a lot of different examples. Like okay. I said, you know, I can I can think. Um, Ah, uh, okay. I can think the conversation that we had at our retreat, year two of our marriage. So, I was like, you getting a tissue? I ain't making you cry. No. Uh, so, we was asked during our, one of our retreats, we was asked to go back to our rooms and to, um, Take a shower, get naked, oh, and out. share. I don't want to share that. No, anymore. no, I'm not sharing it. I'm not going to share. It. I'm just telling you that was. I'm not going into it. I'm just saying that was something that. That was one of those conversations. Was like, and for me, I was like, wait a second. Um, I don't know if I'm going to share this, but it's like that was part of our when our, our homework to do. But I was like, uh. So I was cautious going into the conversation. That makes it. Yeah. This. <laughs> like I'm cautious about how we're talking about this. That's why I'm not. I'm not gonna go into any anything <laughs> deeper about it right now. <laughs> so, but yeah. So that was like I said. It was a conversation where, you know, because I didn't know how she was gonna respond, I, you know. I didn't, I, you know, I didn't want to have the conversation or I didn't want to say what I had to say, but I was, I had to quickly guard myself because I didn't know how she was going to react. And that's where this, that's why I say is this is disclosed with caution. Um, and yeah, it's, yeah, we all do this, um, just because, you know, we have, you know, Either we have ex- expectations of our spouse, our spouse has expectations of us, and we just don't want to hurt each other. So we try to, you know, not say I'm not gonna say save the marriage, but save that person from getting hurt. Right. Um, it's more, yeah, not necessarily going to the extreme of saving a marriage. I feel like it's more saving uh, your spouse's feelings. Yeah. Like you don't want to hurt their feelings, yeah. right? There, there have been conversations, especially when you're talking about how you feel in a situation in a certain uh circumstance um you could not want to really like you want to talk about it because you want to have your spouse understand why you're feeling that way before you continue that's what you're talking about is basically going to be the next level oh because the next level is when you're sharing feelings okay so this was like so this one it's more about, you know, and I would say and another example is like, you know, you, I, I'll say, for instance, I, for instance, I, I was looking for another job. I didn't tell my spouse. Um, I didn't tell my spouse because I didn't know, I didn't know what she was, what she was going to think of me trying to find another job. I get this other job. It's more money. You know, they give me more money, but it, it's going to take away time from my family, from being home, that I'm going to have to travel. You know, I would say, let's say it's, it's 100% travel. So pretty much I'm getting opportunity that I will want to do. I haven't told my wife about it yet, but then I'm going to have to have this conversation. And the thing is, not, not to say I already took the position, but the fact that I have to let her know is like, I want this opportunity, but with this opportunity, brings all this other brings all these other things that she's going to have to carry more now. That makes sense? Yeah. Okay. So Okay. <laughs> so, all right. So then level 2 is what my wife was kind of to And it's like cuz you know I wasn't even really listening cuz I was trying to keep my thought. Yeah. So, <laughs> but the next the next part is um sharing your feelings and values. So, like I said, in this level it describes what's going on inside of you. How you feel about the situation, experience, or or the purpose. Um, and if you want to go ahead, if you. What I was going to say is um, you're trying to communicate uh, with your spouse how you feel in a certain, certain situation, but you don't want to hurt their feelings as you're sharing, you know, how you felt. Because sometimes 
it can come across. Well, I don't even know if it can come across, but sometimes you just, that's where I feel like the nonverbals really give away or your nonverbals really tell me how deep I can go into the conversation. Right. Mm -hmm. So like, so if I'm sharing something with you and, um, I start like your body, like your nonverbal starts to like, oh, this is getting uncomfortable. He's not really yeah, trying to have you. this conversation. Yeah. So then I'll back off and I won't share or I won't finish or I will give it a nice sugary. Mm-hmm. Like I'll take it up a level mm-hmm. so that uh, I won't hurt your feelings mm-hmm. in the process. Cause I know I have a sharp tongue and I can say things yeah. that I, that will, yeah, make you upset. So that's yeah. why I felt like that was more of a level three than a level two, because I don't completely share cause but, I'm going to withdraw but, based on, but number, your in level, level three, you're actually guarding yourself. The, what you just said, you're guarding me. Yeah. So that's why I was like, it's... We are one. <laughs> You're right. You're right. But, <laughs> okay. So, but, and so like, kind of like what my wife said, but even in this one, the problem is in this level that you and your spouse, your spouse may not agree or you will be hurt by it. Um, so like some, <clears throat> I'm sorry. So like an example could be something as like, you know, you or your wife can say, I trust you, but I don't trust your friends. Mm. Like when you go out with them, I feel that they'll lead you into, into temptation, you know? So that's, you're going, it's not just about, you know, like a level three would just be like, I don't trust your friends. Level two would be, I trust you, but I don't trust your friends. I think when you go out with them, they're going to make you do things that you probably don't want to do. So like, that's one example. The other example is like, like, you know, you're, you know, want to want either you or your spouse to say, sometimes, sometimes I feel disconnected by you and I would love to talk to you more, you know, a level, a level, a level three, which is to be like, we don't talk no more. Huh? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so you, I, I'm trying to give you examples so you can see the difference between level two and then a level three. It's more about, you know, like I said, expressing your feelings and your needs, like what you, you know, what you need. What yeah. I and what you value. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, attaching a feeling to the value. Yeah. Not in, just in saying, not just yeah. saying, you know, one thing, but you right. actually attaching your, I feel you I know, feel this way I, because I want, blah, blah, blah. I need, like yeah. you're using how you're feeling, not just pointing it back saying you don't always do that. Like it's, I feel. Yeah. So. Right. Cause it's like, I feel, I feel like we're disconnected because, um, because we're having shallow, we're having more shallow conversations than me really getting to hear your heart. Mm-hmm. So much. Like yeah, because when you say stuff, when you when you, I don't say when you add more words, you're putting that feelings like you know it's getting an understanding of why you want to have why you want to talk why more. you're feeling that okay yeah instead of just being you know we don't talk no more it's like you saying you know I feel we having more shallow conversations and we're really not really talking when I hear when I hear you say that it's like okay so that means you know what we're talking about is really just surface level stuff. Right. It's not really that we're talking about, you know, you know, even, like I say, how our week was or just the things that you experienced during the week, yeah. you know, it made you feel a certain way. And then you couldn't share these things with me, just little things like that. So it allows you to go a little, a little more deeper. Um, um, and then, like I said, it gives you the deep feelings of your spouse of what they are. So, in this in in this level, it's, it's meant for both of you to be um, expressing these feelings. So, you know, if your wife expresses something, then you should be you should be to express you know what you're feeling and not not be not hold back. You know, and I I read something that that's 
when not say oftentimes, but when one spouse is at a level two, sometimes they the other spouse is a level three just because they, you know, how we say we want to we want to be cautious about what we say. So the wife is sharing something, she's sharing her heart, or the husband's sharing their heart, and then you may not agree with that, but you're you're at level three because you're trying to be cautious so that you're not hurting your spouse and what she's feeling. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Like you looking like if that makes no, sense. No, it does. So um, I have a question. No, okay. I'm, but I'm gonna wait until all the levels. Okay. Then... Okay. So then uh, the level one, and which is the level that we should all strive to, and I know that uh, we may not always get there. But we always want to strive to get to le a level one. Um, and then this one is, is, I call it sharing intimacy and confession. Um, and I know when people think of confession, they probably like, wait a second, hold up. <laughs> I don't, you know, I say confession because, you know, when you're confessing, you're sharing your heart. You know, and I'm not, I'm not like saying confession in a, you know, in a, like in a religious, in a, you know, going to church and you confessing to somebody, mm -hmm. but you're so actually, you're sharing your, your doubts, your fears, your insecurities, and even just your struggles. Um, so again, like I said, you're confessing all those things that, you know, not say that make you, you, but that. That you know that it's it's in you. It's in you that right. you want to get out. Right. I think not necessarily confessions, but you're being fully vulnerable, fully transparent in in level one. So that's why you're sharing those deep emotions and your fears mm -hmm. because and that's especially that, with guys. And, but that's the confession part because you're. You're sharing the scariest part of you. Yeah, but you share, yeah, you, and you, you're not you, you knowing that you're you know the risk if you're gonna be if you're gonna share that scariest part of you. Okay, what's the risk? I mean, like you know, I'm not for, not for me because you know, I, I'm just saying. But in no, general, like for people, really. so for for uh, I'll say for I'm, I'm gonna use a husband for a husband who does not like to share his fears. If it's about not being able to be uh, provided for his family, things like that. If he's scared to share that spot, let's share that part, knowing the risk that you share it is going to um, show that emotional part of you that you don't mm -hmm. want to share because we're supposed oh, to. I, I'm not saying for me, you know, I'm not saying for me, but I don't. But some people don't want because we were so taught as a young man that oh, you fall, get up, you are okay. Like you just hold it, you don't really share that stuff. Mm, okay. So that's that's kind of what I'm saying. Um, and then in this in this level, you know, you can be honest um, with your spouse about sharing. Was it? You can be honest without your spouse feeling condemned. So like you can share it, and it's not going to be where it's like she's going to feel. You know, she don't feel something about it. It's like no, I'm feeling. I, I'm sharing me about what's me and it's, it has nothing to do with and I I say like it has nothing to do with you I'm sharing what I am you know what I'm feeling what's on my heart you know and you know and it's like you can trust each other like you can trust each other you know knowing that we have our best interests at heart and you're committed to talking through anything that comes up so, so would you suggest having a dedicated time to, to be able to do, to have that, those kind of conversations? Uh, yeah, I would say, I would say you should. Um, I don't think it always comes out that way, but I think being able to explain each one of these levels, I think that's gonna, that can help couples to see like, okay, when they having these conversations with their spouse, they can under, they can see, okay, this is where he's at. This is the level. I, so they can identify right away. Okay. Where, where does my mindset need to be? You know, so if, you know, if your spouse comes to you and they're, you know, they're really pouring their heart out to you, yeah. you can, you know, okay, he's at a level one. So let me, let him talk. Let me, 
like you know you could be engaged mm-hmm. so that's i guess that's how i see it so well i was just saying because you want to make sure that you have the time because like you say you, you gotta uh, you want to be able to address anything that comes up in that conversation mm-hmm. so if someone is sharing their heart their fears you don't want to do that like at dinner if you have kids and they're like yeah. running around or whatever so you want to make sure that you set aside some uh, um some one-on-one alone time so that you can have these conversations and have it fully also you probably don't want to do it right before bed because yeah. then you won't be able to go to sleep or whatever but yeah so just set aside some time to be able to have this connection um you know this connection moment and re- and I agree with what you're saying, but on the other side is you have like, yeah, if you go into a conversation, like let's set us up, set aside some time. Maybe that person, even during that time, may not feel comfortable talking, being at that level. So that's why, that's why I said it's more about identifying what level they are. And even if like, say, if you're at dinner or something like that, you can be like, babe, can we table this into here? I know you want to tell me something. It's in your heart. But being able to recognize what level that they are at first and be like, so when they start talking, you're like, okay, I know where he's going. But can we, so you can, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you can tell. No, but that must be a guy thing. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, my God. No, because I guess in, in, in my mind, it would be a guy thing. It could just be the way that, I think is like, okay, so if we're going to talk, I'm going to have these things I'm going to talk about. Oh, no, I, I get what you're saying. So I, get, I just come prepared to the conversation. I, with, I got what you're you know, what you what saying. I want to talk about. Yeah, I got what you're saying. Um, because I guess what is, what changes my level from a one to like a four is if I'm trying to talk about something and then you're not in the right mindset. And mm. so then I'm like, okay, forget it. We can, no, we can I, watch no. TV. Do you watch this new show? Do you watch this series? Gotcha. How's that? How was the latest episode? Like, okay. I'm going to change it up because I already see you not, you, you're not, we're not at the same level right now. Okay. So, I so being, no, no, being that you, right. no, being that you said that, that, yeah, that makes sense because that means that, um, when you do have these conversations, you have to I say be intentional, but you have yeah. to be you have to be intentional about you know can we have a can we have a conversation, um, you know, and even if you you know what level you're at, you can just you know tell your spouse like listen, I want to have a conversation, I want to be at a level two, you know, so when we have this conversation, you know, just can you put your phone off, can, yes. so we can have these Definitely. conversations. Just so, like I said, so your spouse know which way you're coming, so you can actually, right. so they can be prepared. Right. So, um, but I do know we used to have this issue. Uh, we probably still do. Like, I was like, babe, I want to talk to you about something. What do you? How do you respond? <laughs> what I do? Like, huh? What I do wrong? Yes. That's exactly. <laughs> like, how, what? What about what? But what yeah, I, that's... I was like, it's not even that serious. <laughs> So they just want to talk. Yeah. No, I, I, I get I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So let me ask then let me ask you this uh quick question. So what level do you think are, are we at right now? Level of communication? Um, it really depends on what we're talking about. Okay. Um, um I feel like the other day we had uh probably like a level two conversation. Mm-hmm. So I feel like Honestly, I feel like we kind of just, we, like uh, like I said before, we stay a lot in the level four because mm-hmm. there's a lot of logistics yeah. going on and um, coordination of schedules and stuff like that. But we have, I say we have level two and level one conversations. Yeah. It's just, I think it depends on the situation and are we like having a connecting moment mm-hmm. too. Cause I know that's one thing that we've gotten away from, but we're trying to have, you know, have our, uh, we're still in the transition. No, I know, yeah, but so. I'm saying, um, oh gosh, what is our, our, uh, check-ins, our yeah. relationship check-ins. I was like, <laughs> I don't know what we call them. Uh, 
Okay. okay. We uh, we have our relationship check-ins. And so that is where I would have, or I, I would try to have our level two, level one conversations. Yeah. Um, our family meet, our, our, yeah, family meetings, it's definitely, we're in level four. Yeah. So that's why I was like, I just feel like we go in between we go in between because yeah. we're it just depends on what we're talking about gotcha so okay. so that's that's my answer gotcha. what is yours um i'm gonna say we bounce between uh two and three that's what i would say and i say that and i only say that because um like again because i'm at work you know for me it's like i can't really have those me I don't say I don't want we can't have those meaningful conversations like that because I True. work in late games so a lot of times you know if when I'm driving home something comes to me I'm thinking about it you know I can't come I can't come home and just be like hey babe uh and just start talking I mean you can't I'll be asleep I know but I like I said so I can't <laughs> so that's where I, I said it's a three it, it's a two between a two and a three because you know I'm wanting to share stuff but I have to be one it's like I got to be yeah. cautious because you know, it's the timing. Like, even like I said, like I'll get home three o'clock in the morning and then I'm up going to work nine o'clock. So it's like our conversations is kind of uh, a five and a four at that point. Yeah. And then, you know, so then I'm working back to a three. And then a lot of times, like, you know, kind of what we, we said we want to get back to is now sending voice memos yeah. to kind of share those things that are too. So it's like, they understand, they hear what we're saying instead of, me not being able to share what I'm feeling with you right that moment. Same. So, so, and then <clears throat> another thing that I just thought about is, uh -oh. no, no, it's not bad, but in communicating with your spouse, like one of the things that we implemented years ago is like, I don't want to call it a safe word. A safe word. It, <laughs> it is. We implemented a safe word that... We both know that word. So if we're in the middle of having a conversation, it can be with people or it can be just with each other. If our spouse says that word, like we can immediately shut it down and people don't even know. Like, it's funny. Like, you, like for us, we found a word that we can pretty much implement into any conversation and people won't even pay attention to this word. True. And so it's like, if it's, you know, if I'm going on a tangent, my wife could say the word, and I can like her, I can really pipe it down real fast because I know either, okay, she had enough, I need to stop. And it's just like Yeah. <laughs> so it's like oversharing. Um <laughs> like if we're in a group, yeah. We'll be like, that's oversharing. So we'll say the word. Um, or even like when we're like having a conversation and it's like, yeah, I'm not I can't go there now, or I'm just I'm still, I need time to process yeah. before we have this, you know, before we finish this conversation or about whatever, we're, you know, that topic. Um, so then we'll use that word and yeah, yeah, we do. We do have a, it's a safe word. <laughs> it, it keeps our marriage safe. That's what it does. <laughs> so, yeah. So I advise, you know, advise you guys to find, figure out a safe word that you guys can both agree upon that one, it doesn't demean your spouse to it right. doesn't like stab them with a knife you know make them feel like you know they you know it hurts right yeah you you want that word to just be and for me i guess for us it was it's a casual word you won't expect but you only you guys know that word so it's not like you know right now i'm not going to share this word with you because then you will know when we say the word exactly so this is this is it so it's a word that you guys can casually say whereas you know the tone behind it even when you say it the tone the tone won't change it's good the word's gonna be the same every time i don't know i mean the words are the same but I our do. tones change yeah you but know. i don't we don't say our it inflection in a, we changes but we don't say it in a tone where people are like ooh, like we don't like that's what i'm saying it's like you can't say a word like you know never like I'm just I'm just throwing the word out. It's like you, you say, you know, you're having a conversation and you just be like, never. Like, I don't you can't put a tone like, like never. Like, never. never. 
And you the, can. Yeah, that, but, that's, a, that's a thing. Yeah, but you wouldn't. The purpose. I never. <laughs> yes. You can. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. It's like, that's you true. Can. You had to put the figure up. That's right. You're right. Okay. Anyway. So, anyway. So, <laughs> we digress. Yeah, we digress. So, um, you know, so for, I guess a tip. I don't say it's a tip, but just think of, you know, going through these different levels as and communicating as just like if you first started off lifting weights, you know, you may not be strong right away in in lifting weights, you know, and it's going to increase small by you know, little by little as you continue to lift weights and then you get stronger and stronger in this. So as we're learning, you know, as as, as we're learning these different levels and how to communicate better with your spouse, just remember that, you know, it's a process. It's not something you're going to get right away. Um, but you, it's the part, the part about it, it may be tough initially, but as you continue to be more determined with it, you know, your level of communication will continue to grow, um, one level at a time. And then, like you said, you will be able to, you know, um, I don't say interpret, but you will be able to, what's the word I'm trying to, um, like when you, I just said it earlier. I don't know why I just went blank. Um, identify, there it is. You'd be able to identify your spouse when they're coming to talk to you, what level that they are at at that moment. Um, but again, it just takes, it just takes some time and you guys just being determined to, you know, work in this, work in this, uh, communication with each other. Right. Um, also I want to say to the wives, uh, be patient. Um, with your spouse, with your husband, especially if they are not the emotional talkative type. Um, like Jay said, it's a process. So it's something that they're going to have to build on. And I know women, we tend to have all of the words. Um, so don't beat like, I don't want to say beat them up, but don't, um, like nag them. Uh, for lack of a better word, in trying to get them to talk more because that will actually cause them to shut down. Um, so you just, exactly, yeah. You just want them to be, I mean, you just want to create the environment. You share your heart, and then if their heart is a couple of words, um, I mean, you a have to... Even just ask the question. If they have a couple yeah. of words, you know, I'm not saying Try to pull it out of them, but just ask, the, ask questions that will allow them to elaborate yes and go into more so, yeah. you know right because like jay had mentioned earlier men are not really encouraged yeah. to be in touch with their emotional side and be able to voice and to put words to those feelings mm -hmm. so um so yeah so just be patient as they're trying to um get to the level two and one conversations um because they've been they've been in probably four or five for most of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody, but yeah, she's, a, large she's, a, a large majority. I'll just I'll just say I'm a, the yeah. majority. <laughs> Not everyone. So so because yeah, it was actually kind of reverse with us. Yeah. Because I had to learn to ease my words. Yeah, I'd be, I be out loud. I was sharing everything yeah. where I was at, what I was doing. I shared it all. Yes. As you can tell by some of our podcast episodes. Yes, you got to keep me, keep me not talking because I like to share. Yes. Yes, yes. So <laughs> anyway, but uh, once again, thank you guys for yes, listening. Uh, we appreciate you guys. And watching. The time. Yes, listening and watching. We thank you just for, you know, taking the time, your support. Um, if you guys, again, if you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, you can watch, watch it on uh, YouTube as well yeah. and, and vice versa. Um, and then as well, leave a comment, share, like, and subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. Follow and, us on podcasts, on Apple Podcasts. Follow. You have to follow us. Oh yeah. Follow us in, as well as on IG um, at B Side of Marriage and on Facebook, the B Side of Marriage. Um, there was something else I just thought about, but I can't think what of it. What did you think about? I don't know. Um, oh, if you have any episode ideas, any things you guys want us to talk about, leave a comment below and just let us know so we can actually 
bring those ideas that you guys want to you. So, okay. well. Yes, we need to end because I need to blow my nose. It's about to leave. <laughs> All right, y'all. See y'all next week. All right. Peace. peace.